Girl rugby games for the high school division resumed this weekend, but except for the home of the Panthers. In a message sent to members of the Guam Rugby Union, or GRU, states, quote, Games involving Guam High School's women team have been postponed until the matter can be addressed more fully with the Guam Rugby Union board and relevant stakeholders, end quote. This message came after GRU, which runs the league for the Interscholastic Sports Association, or ESA, raised, quote, serious questions of liability assignment if transgender rugby competition were to proceed as GDOE has directed, end quote. The Guam Department of Education issued a release on Friday which clarified that ESA and GRU's rules and bylaws don't address the participation of transgender athletes. Therefore, as KOM News reported, GDOE turned to the GRU to have referees in the game monitor play, requesting, quote, the GRU to ensure that rugby referees exercise their significant authority and discretion to ensure the safety of all matches and all athletes who participate in ESA competitions, end quote. In a separate letter to GDOE addressing Superintendent John Fernandez, GRU was seeking clarification, quote, that the Department of Education will indemnify the GRU and its agents from liability that may be caused by any injury sustained and attribute to transgender athlete play, end quote. It also sought clarification, quote, that the Department of Education has directed the GRU to deviate from the world rugby standards governing transgender athlete play, end quote. Fernandez pointed out in a previous interview with KUAM's The Link, GRU, quote, tend to follow, end quote, the world rugby law, which bans, quote, transgender women from playing women's rugby because of the size, force, and power-producing advantages, end quote. However, as mentioned above, there are no rules and bylaws that do not address the participation of transgender athletes. GDOE mentioned a concern Title IX, which protects against discrimination based on gender identity, may be violated if, quote, new conditions and restrictions, end quote, were introduced during the season. Meanwhile, Guam Education Board member Ron McNich called on Chair Mark Mendiola for a special meeting citing, quote, the rights of girls and young women in our schools also need to be respected, end quote. He mentioned this concern in regards to the matter as a father, brother, and son, and that he supports the LGBTQ plus community and advocates for fair treatment and respect. Policies are set forth by ESA, which is under GDOE. Reporting for KUAM News, Guahusia Isaiah Ugin.